thanks for joining me and welcome to the very first Mums Makery festive live launch. Um, a couple of times a year we do bring out uh, products and stuff and this time we thought, what the heck, we're going to bring it out live and sort of come to you from the makery and get to say hello across the interwebs. We should be coming live to you across Facebook and YouTube. Giving a big shout out to everybody, how you doing? I know that some of you um, have been waiting a little while for this and uh, I believe that there are snacks, apparently. Yes, there are snacks. Pixie Beer. Pixie B is with me, um, although when I bring up her picture, we lose sound, so I won't do that again. <laughs> so Pixie B is in the house, AKA Flingo Face, which she's never gonna live down. <laughs> so once again, welcome. This is, a, like I said, it's a live launch, so um, it's not an event, it's not a party. Uh, this is just basically us bringing to you all of the new things that we are bringing out for the festive season and of course bringing back the uh, older projects which I don't tend to have the Christmas stuff out all year round although if I'm honest I feel like I've had the Christmas stuff out all year round <laughs> there's been so much Christmas in this house for so long now so what we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a bit of a laugh, we're going to have a bit of a chat and do feel free to join into the live chats on either Facebook um, or YouTube. Um, there are Makery Pixies, um, if you want to give yourselves a shout out, I believe Pixie Haley is over on the YouTube live chat and I believe that Pixie Nikki is in the Facebook page live chat. So give everybody a shout out guys so they know that you're there. And I, there may be a couple of other pixies. Oh, they want my volume up. I don't want to turn myself up. <laughs> I'll turn, oh, hold on then. Let me turn this up for you guys. Uh, actually, no, it's this one back here, isn't it? There. That should be better for you. Apologies for the interruption. She's, <laughs> she's over there. She's going like this. I'm like... <laughs> we've got to work out we've got to work out hang signals and that's not an appropriate hand signal <laughs> i'll leave that to your imagination um yeah she's there she's going i'm like i don't know what that means right <laughs> thanks <laughs> right so yeah base where was i i've completely gone off track now it doesn't take much me tangent there i go so basically what this is going to be is it's not a huge broadcast we're just going to hang out for a little while and have a little bit of a fun and uh, sort of just just i don't know get in the festive spirit <laughs> she thought she's like no <laughs> are you feeling the festivities b absolutely she, <laughs> bring on the fudge wait what fudge christmas no fudge. christmas fudge oh apparently there's christmas fudge yay <laughs> So you will find that the Pixies are in chat to help you guys out. If you've got any questions, please do fire them into the chat and we will do our best to answer them. As always, the new products and the... She's, la she's laughing now. I'm getting really distracted. What are you oh, laughing Ross's at? Ross's ears got blasted off because he turned it up. Ross's fire. ears, sorry Ross, apparently because I was so quiet, Ross turned the volume way up. <laughs> That'll blow the cobwebs out. <laughs> So what we're going to do is um, we're going to sort of bring you back the old projects because um, the Christmas or the festive stuff comes out for the Christmas in June. It'll be Christmas in June next year, not July. And, uh, and it comes out for November and December. So what are we going to do first, Pixie B? She won't prepare. You were chatting, weren't you? She was chatting. Okay, let's let's start with some of the returning products that we've got for you. This is um, an absolute favourite of mine. It is such um, an amazing little project, and it's so sweet to make. And the merry mistletoe. There's everything you need in there, including the template and. It's a quick kit and it's exactly as it says on the tin. It's really, really quick to make. And I've got a little bit of a 
close up here for you of the one what I did make. And there you go, and you can see that you know it's just you can use it to decorate something, you could pop it on a card, and you know, given the uh, proximity to which we are not allowed to interact with each other, maybe you could send somebody a mistletoe kiss. That's perhaps a, an idea. I've got to, where am I point? Right there. Up here, there is a big bunch of mistletoe. And again, it's using the same template. And this was used, uh, this was made using our spring green. So that's the mistletoe kit. We've also got return, oh no, those are always out. <laughs> Spring green. Yeah, spring green is in the mistletoe kit. The winter woolies don't go away and come back, so I've actually no idea why it's there, but they're cool. <laughs> we like them. Um, there was a, a lovely little, um, I think I've got it under here actually. We've got some little samples which we had of the winter woolies. And I'll just get these out. I'll pop that box over there, actually. And you can see these just make lovely, lovely gifts. So we've got, this is the mitten. And obviously it's in, been embellished and there's a blanket stitch on it. Oh, I forgot to mention. Check it out. Nope, not check it out. Check it out. Sparkly nails. I do have sparkly nails although the camera won't focus, but sparkly nails. Oh, there you go, look, sparkly nails. Hayley and I had a, a massive debate about me and sparkly nails, and I conceded, and I have glitter on my fingers. It has to be Christmas if I've got glitter on my fingers. <laughs> so here's the winter woolly set. We've got the mitten, the bobble hat, and the jumper, and you can see there's just some really great ways of decorating your winter woolies. There's a lot of posting group at the moment, the Facebook group, and if you're watching on YouTube and you've not been across to our Facebook group, do hop over because after the broadcast because it's, um, it's a really fun group and there's lots of sharing of ideas and makes and stuff for inspiration. So there we go, okay. So winter woolies don't go away. That's in the web or on the website all year round. Uh, the Merry Mistletoe Kit is now back and everything will be live on the website after the show or pretty much right at the end of the show. Um, it should happen almost instantaneous, but it might not. <laughs> My tech skills have not, been, have not been serving me well lately. I've had a couple of web disasters. <laughs> Okay, so what, should we do, let's do one of the new ones. We'll do one of the new ones. Okay, let's see, which one shall we do? <gasps> Angel wings, wing number two. Back in the summer, we brought out wing number one, which was the sort of um, butterfly wing shape. And we did bring out, or we did make this angel wing which has gone out as um, sort of a couple of prizes and things and we wanted to leave it until obviously we were uh, at our festive launch to actually bring you the angel wing and it is an absolutely beautiful uh, template. You can add wings to your creatures, you can add them as you can see on the card here as well really simple, really elegant, you know, you can jazz it up with some bling or you can just have it really, really simple. And there's the wing. This is done in our frost colour, which the camera doesn't pick up. It, it really doesn't. I wish it would. But if anybody has got frost or has used frost, then do let uh, everybody else in chat know what you think about it because we absolutely love it and it felt a dream it's not so much of a sparkle as it is a shimmer it, it shimmers there's your template set 
Oh, there's the template. It's not a set. It's just actually that's an idea. We might bring out um, maybe just a couple of different sizes. Who knows? But there's you see. I've done. I always do this. Look at this. If you made two and put them that way and strapped them onto a pair of trainers, you could pretend you were Hermes. She's not listening to me. Hermes, the, the dude with the wings on his trainers. Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> I just looked up, she's there, she's like that. Like, oh, right. Angel wings. It's such a sweet template, it really is. So, that's that one. What else are we doing? Oh, over on the YouTube channel, you will see that there's also um, some videos which are Make It Wids. And for those who don't know, Make It Wids are extra projects that we put up that you can make with existing template sets. So there's no new template set. For example, the Rudies, um, they can be made using the Skull template set and they can be made um, with the either the poppy or the daisy template set and there's a full video for that over on our YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash mums makery so don't forget to just check out the extra little projects as well because there's loads of these little things that we sort of do that add uh, more to what you can do with your template sets you look like you've got a question no you haven't got a question you're okay <laughs> I can't tell you, see, because there's that light behind. The Hermes, the messenger the, I think, yeah, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. Get a, get a sheet, slap a couple of them on your trainers and go running up and down the road delivering parcels. It'd be ace. <laughs> She's like, her face just is like, what have you been on? And can I have some? <laughs> Sorry? Robin. Ro okay, we'll get to that one in a minute. We will. Um. What was I, I've just, today and me is just not working out well, people. It really isn't. I, I'm such a bobblehead today. Why don't we have any bags, please? Yes, the Douglas Ferns. Um, there has been a lot of chatter in Fluff Chat um, with people making their Douglas Ferns at the moment. And the Douglas Fern Winter Ombra is back. It is a seasonal availability so it's one of the projects that are only available around November and December and then in June but also it is a limited number so the once they are gone they are gone um, we don't we, we will only make a certain amount of them each year there are of course the other two Douglas ferns, the white is also, again, only seasonal availability and that is also limited in number. So again, once they are gone, then they're gone. And of course, you've got the Douglas fern original, which is the green and that is available all year round. Uh, as I mentioned, there will be, um, there was a lot of chat in Fluff Chat and if you aren't familiar with Fluff Chat. Fluff Chat is the Mums Makery Facebook group messenger chat. So it's a live chat. It's not a post or anything. And you can, there is a post in the Facebook group which you can request to join Fluff Chat and we, one, of, one of the pixies will add you. Unfortunately, the link to just join it yourself doesn't work and we don't know why. And we've messaged Facebook but they don't get back to us. So... Um, we will have to add you manually and the idea behind fluff chat is that it's it's you know sometimes it's really busy in there and messages are pinging and then other times it's a little bit calmer generally when the pixies aren't in there it's a lot calmer <laughs> but the idea with um, fluff chat is you just hop in and out as you want to chat with people I wouldn't advise ever trying to keep up with the conversation if you haven't been in there for a bit and I just tend to sort of join in, say hi 
and join in with the conversation that's happening at the moment and then you know go off and do something else and then come back later on but you will generally find that there are always uh, wonderfully fluffy people in there if you ever you want to just hang out and have a fluff chat so the official post to join fluff chat is in the facebook group and you can pop your name down on there okay Should we... ah yes the we we do operate the ethos of we don't put out Christmas app before Halloween. <laughs> However, we've decided that we're going to bring Halloween into Christmas. <laughs> Some of you who may have been with us for the Halloween party will have seen the Spooks trio that we've um, that we brought out for the Halloween event or the Halloween party. And I showed you at that party a bunch of or a trio of trees that were made using the versatangle and the spooks and we decided that we would make a candy cane version and this is going to be a make it with video that will be coming out in December but the principle is you make your versatangle you make two of each of the um, three spooks and voila you has to and then you stick a stick up it and you have a tree but there will be a full make it with coming um, on the channel um, probably early December I think it is we're sort of trying to space out the videos a little bit so there's the um, I call them drippy trees but I suppose I shouldn't really <laughs> the, the festive drippy trees <laughs> And these have got uh, the Ponsettia beads. I don't know if these will... No, they won't fit on the close-up cam. Um, these have um, the Ponsettia beads and some other 4 mil white seed beads sewn to them uh, for the extra detail as well. Little Penguin. He's also a free tutorial, which is also available on the YouTube channel. Let me give you a close-up of him there and the, tu the tutorial for that is just called Little Penguin um, and he's a completely freehand make you don't need any templates although I do show you how you can use I think it's the snowdrop template to make certain parts I also do show you oh he's been on the eggnog um, I do also show <laughs> I wish I was on the eggnog. <laughs> She's like, yep, me too. <laughs> um, so it is a completely free hand make. So I do also show you how to make the whole thing without any templates as well. I want to do another thing. Let's do another thing. Should we do another thing? I think we should. Returning to the website uh, is the Ponsettia project. And there's obviously there's the template set and there's the kit now the kit will make you a single ponsettia plant which is the one that is on the left of your screen but there is also a triple combo available and which gets you three kits and you can make the larger of the ponsettia plants which you see there on the right and of course we've got them up here as well and they really are such nice projects I have never ever been able to um, maintain a Ponsettia plant ever <laughs> so having a felted one is great because I can just bring it out each year <laughs> and my mum I think my mum likes hers as well because she just she doesn't do well with plants so so the Ponsettia plant has returned to the website and again everything will be available on the website once the broadcast concludes. <gasps> what should we do next? How about the special omnibus packs? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah. Yes, let's. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Glacier Ombra, um, which launched back in July, is now back uh, in or on the website. But 
it's also now available in shimmer yay <laughs> so you can get the um the glacier uh normal and then also the glacier shimmer which is effectively frost in all the different shades if that makes sense um there are um there are five colors in the set and it ranges from obviously white to uh, the blue and they are graded so that you can get that beautiful ombre which i will just nick one of these cards off the display and put that on the close-up for you there's one of the cards and you can see that you can just get such a lovely lovely effect with it so there we go and we have this is going to be available for the whole of what are we in now? november and december so it's not limited and if at any time it goes out of stock it will come back in stock so we will keep restocking that project um, the Douglas Fern Ombra and Douglas Fern White are limited number. So once they are gone, they are gone. And the Douglas Fern Ombra, I will pop that back up just real quick. That comes with um, eight pre-blended shades. So, and it's all layered, uh, sorry, it's all labeled for each layer, for each tier. So you know exactly what a tube of fluff you're using for what's here of your project okay in addition this is also what i'm about to tell you is also limited in number but i, f I found a thing and i absolutely fell in love with it so i got hold of this lady who i might add is completely crazy <laughs> she's my kind of person and we are absolutely delighted to bring to you Glacier Locks. Now, these are a Mums Makery exclusive, but they are from um, Tree Gaver Fibres. And I'm probably saying that really wrong. But these are white-faced Dartmoor Locks. And they have been... I don't want to, they're not blended are they what's the word dyed. dyed they've been dyed lovingly prepared and everything by this lovely lady who um when I was trying to explain I had to talk to her on the phone at the end because I think I was confusing her with my messages <laughs> but these locks are absolutely yummy and these are also limited in number so hang on let's get a close-up on the label there we go white-faced Dartmoor locks so these have been created to complement um, the glacier set it's not an exact match but I will just grab the glaciers that I've got here you can see but it's not bad. <laughs> there was a whole thing in, in Fluff Chat uh, last week, I think it was, where everybody decided that they wanted to make an Esky gnome, which was an Eskimo gnome. And there were some lovely, absolutely lovely creations that, um, that came out of that. And they periodically in Fluff Chat, they all decide that they're going to make a thing. And it's lovely, actually, because everybody's there supporting each other. And um, just they're sort of, you know, um, supporting and sort of helping each other along. And it just, it's really, really nice. And I just thought, wouldn't that make a great Esky gnome beard? <laughs> so... But yeah, the Glacier Locks are limited in number, um, but do also 
visit their website because they've got a lot of other locks and I can I can sort of attest that they are really good quality. Um, it is I ordered some of their locks from um, their Etsy shop. Uh, when was it? A few months ago now, and they came. And you can tell that time and care has been taken over the locks because I have had some locks in the past that just haven't really been what I was hoping for. So. I bought some of them first and then I approached her about doing the glacier locks for us and voila, we have glacier locks. Okay. Oh, you look, you look really serious for a minute there. She's like, oh, I've got to do this. Why things aren't on the website? Why things aren't on the website? Because they go live, or every, all the new products will go live um, after this broadcast. So... And we're going to get through it pretty quick, but, you know, this isn't a long drawn out broadcast where we've got, you know, raffles and games and all the rest of it. But something's coming. Something's coming. What else are we going to do? Christmas Rose. The Christmas Rose is another project which is um, back on the website or it will be very, very shortly. And the Christmas Rose is a wonderfully sweet make and it's it's quite quick so you do end up with um, lots of potential from some of these here's the Christmas rose head on one of the stick pins and you can see I mean how lovely a gift that makes there we go so in it see so you can you know think outside the box with the makes as well we do the stick pins in two different varieties on the website as well so let me pop those are down there i've got loads of stuff under it it's great <laughs> i've just looked under it oh, i did not add that <laughs> yes the the poppy template set this isn't a festive thing but it is so obviously a, a relevant thing we do have a poppy um a template on the website which creates I haven't got the red one um, unfortunately but there's one of the poppies in white so just a little shout out for those of you if you did want to make uh, some poppies that we do have that and the full tutorial for that is over on um, the YouTube channel as well right let's do a new thing I want to do another, huh? Well, <laughs> this is a brand new launch for uh, twen Christmas 2020 or festive 2020. And it's the Round of Robins project. And this one, we've gone a little bit off script with this one, haven't we? Um, and by we, I mean me. <laughs> I just, I had, I kind of had this idea and all the pixies and they all rolled their eyes at me. But I think you will agree that the idea came off pretty well because what we've done is the, the round of Robin's kit is enough materials to make this whole wreath and you get the wreath ring in there as well and all the ribbons and everything else. And there's enough fluff and stuff in there to make 10 of these hanging Robins. Uh, or to make 10 hanging robins, or you can put seven on a wreath and you've got three uh, that you can make that are hanging and all the eyeballs are in there and everything. There is then also, which is probably the way, oh no, I do have one under it. There is also um, a quick kit that we've done, which is a trio of robins. Now, the quick kit has the template in the kit the round of robins kit is just the materials and there is a template set separately. So you can purchase just the template set on its own. You can purchase the round of robins kit with the template set as a discounted combo deal. Or you can get, or and you can get the um, trio of robins, which is which will just make three of these hanging robins. Um, if you get the trio like I said, the template is in there. So if you wanted to do both, then you would get the trio kit or the trio quick kit 
and the round of robins kit because you get the template in the trio kit i think that made sense but if you've got any questions just fire us up a message we will always be on the end of an email or the phone or whatever uh, to help you guys out now we went a little bit off script with the robins and i'm going to pop up the um the screen again for you because what we did was we did the usual in felt and then what we did <laughs> is we made them out of fabric and then we made them out of card and I must admit I'm really really happy with with the results and what we did for i will talk you through it in the, the tutorial will also be going live for the round of robins on the youtube channel pretty much it will be there um, after the show as well and what that will allow you to do is i i, I don't show you how to sew <laughs> watching me felt is painful enough let's face it <laughs> but what i do is i do talk you through how to make uh, the fabric robins and it is just cutting around um, the template. You draw around the outside of the template, you draw around the inside of the template. The inside of the template is your stitch line, the outside of the template is your cut line and then you can do all frays and things. But for those of you who do so, um, you know, you just take it whichever way um, you wanna go. There is also, I'm not going to try and grab it because if I try and grab it, everything will go. But there are some lovely cards and um, applique on bags. I don't know if you can see it, it's sort of down here. And there's just an awful lot that we did with this template that wasn't just felting. So have a think about other you know, ways that you can use your templates as well. Obviously, Felting is our core, um, but we decided just to take things a little bit different with the with the robins. Okay, what else have we got? So exciting! Yes, that is worth pointing out. Is that in the round of robins kit and the trio of robins kit, you do not get card and fabric. Those are, are needle felting kits only and you get the materials. All of our kits contain all of the materials that you need for a project, but what they don't contain are needles and felting surfaces. Those we do supply and we do supply them separately. Okay, so we have, um, I'll just recap very quickly. We've got the Angel Wings. Um, they're brand new and will be on the website uh, pretty much after the show. We've got the round of robins and the robin trio. We've got those gorgeous wool glacier wool pack and that is now also available in a shimmer. And there is a special offer if you want to buy both the glacier and the glacier shimmer together. Those gorgeous glacier locks, um, which are limited in number. And of course, the one you've all been waiting for Drum roll, Pixie B. No, you have to do it on the. They can't hit. Shit. <laughs> I read drum roll. She went. That's what's that? It's like air, air drum. Let's try again. The one you've all been waiting for. Not really, but. <laughs> the Ponsettia Pixie. And we are, of course, absolutely delighted to bring this to you. The Ponsettia Pixie was aired previewed sneak peeked mm -hmm. back in our christmas in july um event and the response that we had from it was absolutely amazing the the, the kit contains let me come back to you a second here the kit this is the kit and it comes in this gorgeous um, gift box and i'm going to uh, just give you a little bit of a close-up of the label as well. There. And the kit itself 
The kit contains everything in it that you need to make the pixie. It does not include the log slice or the stand. You just get the materials for making the pixie. And it even has the, the wool to make her hat. It has the threads to stitch. In fact, let me get this one up on the close-up cam. I will just adjust this very, very slightly because it doesn't go up much higher than that. But let's have a look, see if we can get the lighting's not my friend with this today, but it also contains the gold, uh, sorry, the red and the green metallic thread, the, um, the ribbons, let me put her on her side, the bouquet, it contains the wool and the pattern for the hat, the wings, basically everything to make that pixie is in that kit, but not the stand and the stick. Um, if you are not a knitter, we do have the option for you to purchase a little pre-knitted hat, which is exactly the same as this one. And it's made by Pixie Bee's mum. <laughs> It's knitted by Pixie Nanas. <laughs> Bless her. Could you ask your mum if she wouldn't mind knitting a few of these up for me? She's like, yeah, she said, how many do you want? She's like, oh, I don't know, 30? I don't know. She's like, okay, I'll ask her. <laughs> Bless her, she's been bobble hatting away for about a week now, hasn't she? <laughs> so, yeah, the... I do have to say that this project was an absolute joy to make. Um, it took me a little while to get there, um, but, but we got there and I am so pleased with the results. The tutorial, brace yourselves, <laughs> the tutorial is five hours long. <laughs> because, you know, I, I just, I had to put in all the details and Part one, there's three parts to, no, that's four. There's three parts to, that's probably easier. There's three parts to the tutorial. <laughs> it's all going downhill now. There's three parts to the tutorial. Uh, part one uh, takes you through creating the pixie armature and creating that sort of little pixie body. And that's two and a half hours just on the body because I take you through a heck of a lot of different ways that you can do things because not one way suits every person. So what I've done is I've showed you different ways that you can um, that you can wrap, that you can cover these pipe cleaners. And all the, as I said, all the materials are in that kit, uh, is in that kit. And this kit comes, like I said, in this gorgeous gift box. Part two, I take you through making, shading, and veining all of the leaves. And there is also a PDF which accompanies the kit and it gives you the, uh, the knitting pattern is in there. Uh, what else is in there? What's on the PDF? I've forgotten. Everything's on the PDF. Oh, the, the stitching for the leaves. I've shown you where we've got our stitches. So it's just a reference guide. You obviously can do it however you want. There's, um, and then in part three, it's all about the assembly it, and the finishing touches. And there is glue involved. <laughs> and it was pretty much a toss up for me as to whether the gluing was the most traumatic part or the sewing was the most traumatic part. But I don't actually knit on camera. Um, you do get the pattern for that. So that's the Ponsettia Pixie project. And again, that will be available throughout November and December. And it will go away with the rest of the um, festive products at the end of December. Can they buy the log slice and stand? Um, no. <laughs> The, um, there, there are plans to put the log slices on the website. I hadn't actually thought about, um, this is a bamboo skewer. So I've drilled this to about four mil and uh, a four mil drill bit and then put a bamboo skewer, which is just stuck up 
the pixie. <laughs> that really avoided that one. <laughs> so um, we might do the stands. I, I don't know. We will have a conflab about it afterwards. The trouble with these log slices is that they're so thick. So to send one, we would have to send it as a parcel uh, instead of a large letter. So we'll, we'll see what we can figure out. Who knows? Um, it might be that we put the log slices up and then you can request to just have them pre-drilled um, in whatever format you want. But watch social media and the website for uh, more info on that. Are there any other questions? What about our special price for it? Oh, yeah, there's that too in there. Yeah. <laughs> we yes the um the ponsettia pixie um is at a special launch price for the rest of today so we decided as we're doing a live launch we would actually put the projects up um at a special price for that now the combo deal because obviously the template set this is going to get confusing now the template set that you use to create her is the same template set that you use to create the ponsettia so if you just buy the template set, you will get the uh, tutorial for the Ponsettia plant. To get the tutorial for the Ponsettia Pixie, you must either buy the Ponsettia Pixie combo deal. If you buy the combo deal, which is the Ponsettia Pixie and the templates, you will get both projects. You will get the Ponsettia Pixie tutorial and you will get the Ponsettia plant tutorial. If you purchase the Ponsettia kit, then you will get the Ponsettia pixie tutorial, but not the plant tutorial, because assumedly, if you have, um, if you're buying just the kit, you already have the templates, ergo, you already have that project anyway. So if you buy the kit, you just get the pixie tutorial. If you buy the combo, you, the pixie combo, you will get the Ponsettia Pixie um, tutorial and the Ponsettia plant tutorial. And the Ponsettia Pixie materials kit and combo deal is on a special launch price until the end of today. Okay. I got so through that. If they've already got the templates and wool, can mm. they buy the tutorial from you? I don't sell just the tutorial. Um, the tutorial comes as part of um, the deal. If you, um, if you have the templates and you want the Ponsettia Pixie um, sort of project, then your best option is to, is to grab the kit. Okay, I think, is that all of the projects? I'm pretty sure yes. it is. Cool. Yeah. There will be coming on the website a Everything Festive at Mum's Makery page it's not up there yet and I will do it once the show um, has ended but it will be a page on the website that lists all of the all of the festive stuff so the holly templates the ivy templates the, the baubles and balloons all of the things that are that we do that is connected to the festive season it will have the Rudy make it with it will have the penguin tutorial everything on the page um, all of the new launches will be there and it will also tell you what's new for 2020 and what is limited either by seasonal or by number or by both. Can you please tell them how much the kit is? How, can I tell them how much the kit is? Um, it's a really good question. <laughs> Here's the spot and there's me on it. Um, I think... The, the kit is $24.99 the and it's normally $29.99. The combo deal is $29.99 and it's normally $34.99. <laughs> Remind me that I need post-it notes behind here next time. <laughs> so do check out... Um, do check out the um, the website. Like I said, it'll be a little bit after, the, but there will be that everything festive at Mum's Makery, which will be a really good reference guide. Don't forget that on the website, 
Um, there is also the projects, infos and downloads link. You'll find all the weights and measures to all of the different templates that we do there. There's a tutorials list there for all the publicly available tutorials. Remember that tutorials for certain projects are not available publicly and those will be sent to you as links in your order confirmation email. So with all of the project stuff out of the way, she's looking for confirmation <laughs> that I haven't forgotten anything. I've got the, oh, I've got the double thumbs up. <laughs> so we've got, we've, that's basically all of the projects um, and new things that we've got from Mum's Makery, but I do have a couple of things to tell you. We have coming very, very uh, soon on the 14th of November, is our Christmas Craftanoon. And the Christmas Craftanoon is it's gonna be very, very different. 2020, we've, we've done a lot of things this year and we've done events and we will be doing more events. We've done parties and we will be doing more parties. But I want to introduce Craftanoons and if it goes okay, <laughs> then the Craftanoons will be continuing into 2021. And the premise behind the Craftanoons is that there's nothing to buy, there's no new products. We will be making something, um, and it will just be between one and two hours where we will, be, we will be making a thing, and you just come along and join us and craft along with us and we will be doing different things some will be free hand makes some of that all the information for the craftanoons will be coming in advance um but the idea is it's more sociable because i have i've loved doing the events and i love doing the parties and i love coming to you um and you know bringing you new products but i also like hanging out with you guys i am a crafter i started this because i'm a crafter and i love crafting I love needle felting and I just wanted to do something that wasn't a that was you know less businessy and more kind of just hanging out in a group and so more will be coming on that um, in the future but for now the 14th of November 2020 and it's 3 p.m again UK time will be our Christmas afternoon and what I will be doing is spending between one and two hours with you and there's not going to be a make along what I'm going to do is show you an awful lot of very quick things that you can make and I will have stuff that is pre-made that I'm just assembling to show you the ideas and to give you the inspirations and to um, you know just show you some little quick makes that you can do that you can use out of your stash. There'll be some freehand makes. There'll be all sorts of stuff going on. So it really will be a nice little sort of variety of things that you can make um, sort of last minute for the people that you want to send extra gifts to this year. Um, that brings me very quickly to next weekend. Now, I, I don't have a, a screen to sort of show you or anything, uh, but next weekend, the craft show's live and I'll put, a link up in the Facebook group and on my Facebook page. The Craft Shows Live are having an all access, an access all areas event and they were going to be at the NEC for their um, sort of, they do sort of the hobby stitches and the um, Cake International, but of course the shows aren't going ahead at the moment. So they've moved everything online. Uh, we were hoping to be a part of that, but with everything else that we've got going on, unfortunately we couldn't make it this year. And, but I do want to give their event a shout out. There's sewing, there's card making, there's felting, there's all sorts that go on over there. And it's six pounds a ticket to access all areas. So I'll pop a link up uh, and that happens, I believe it's next Saturday, which is the 7th. Next Saturday is the 7th? I think it's the 7th. Um, on the 7th of uh, November. So you've got our Christmas afternoon then the following Saturday at 3 p.m. and that will be right here on or in the makery. Something else that that we've decided to do and um, I mean at the end of the day 2020 has been um, well let's face it it's been a bit pants hasn't it really so can I say pants? I can say pants can I? I can say pants. <laughs> 
<laughs> my little alarm went off. She said, you can't say pants. <laughs> It's not been a great year. So we had a bit of a chat and what we want to do is we have a, a spread the fluff ethos at Mum's Makery, which is whenever we can, we spread a bit of fluffy love and, you know, do what we can. And so what we're going to do this year is Mum's Makery is going to be making a charity donation of £100. And once this broadcast is over, there will be a post going up in the Facebook group and it will have that graphic so you can easily identify it. And the idea is that we want you guys to nominate your favourite charity. So have a read of the rules. Please no great big long posts about the charity. All we simply want is a, a sentence with your nomination for your charity. And then at our Christmas craft noon, we will do a live number generator draw and we will draw the winner of the £100 donation which Mum's Makery will then make. But obviously there are an awful lot of good causes and if we could support them all, we would, but we, we felt that this was probably the fairest way to do it. Everybody um, can nominate one charity, it's one entry per person. Obviously more people can choose the same charity, but it's only one entry per person. So do have a read, that'll be in the Facebook group. So if you're not already, please do head over to our Facebook group and join. That's www.facebook.com slash groups slash mum's makery. And you know, there's lots of, I mean, it's a great group anyway. They're all completely bonkers in there to be fair, but um, it's such a lovely fluffy group. Which rounds me up to what's on the horizon for Mum's Makery. So as we end 2020 and go into 2021, we have the Mum's Makery birthday bash. Mum's Makery will be two years old in January, but not. it's, a, it's actually a double party because um, it's the makery's second birthday but it's the facebook group's first birthday because i started the facebook group with the pixies uh on the 1st of january 2020 so the 2nd of january we are going to have a party now there is a party bag and it's it's really nice i love this party bag and i'm going to give you a little teaser of the party bag I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I know what's going in it. So. <laughs> um, now, the party bag listing will be available on the website for international customers only, please, to begin with. Um, the I'm trying to I'm trying to think the, the, the listing will be there. The in, sorry, the international customers are the ones that will get sent out first. Um, if you are in the UK, you can, of course, order your party bag, but it will not be sent out for a couple of weeks. All the, anything else that you order will be shipped as normal, and, um, but your party bag will come as a separate posting uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, international orders uh, will go out first and they will go out hopefully by the end of um, this coming week. So, um, Please, the international orders, um, get those in to us. And if you order anything, you are an international customer and you order anything, then your, or, your whole order will be delayed and it will all be sent as one at sort of the end of this coming week um, with your party bags as soon as they're available. If you're in the UK, the bulk of your order will ship as normal and the party bag will follow in a couple of weeks. But if you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to hit us up with an email. So, I think, I think that's it. Is that it? Just to say that when the site goes live very shortly. Yes. Um, post will be done over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so once all of the, um, once all of the, 
uh, sort of show is over and, and all of the stuff goes live on the website, um, all of the orders uh, that are placed will be sent out across Monday to Wednesday. We're unsure at the moment how much we can get to the post office at what times and what have you. So do please allow just an extra day or so for us to dispatch um, your order. We will obviously endeavour to get everything out as quickly as possible to you as always. So I think that that, that, is, that is it from us here in the Makery. I hope that you have um, enjoyed just coming and hanging out for some festive fun and a few giggles with us. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure as always to be here with you. The new products will be live on the website once the uh, show is over and the charity donation post and all re other relevant information will be going up in the Facebook group again after the show. I do believe that that is it. Um, thank you again so much for choosing to spend your time with us this afternoon. And from me and Pixie B, we wish you all a very crafty day. Thank you.